Okay, so today we're going to be blacksmithing. We're going to be making a knife out of this railroad spike. Not sure if it's high carbon or low carbon, but should get the job done. Just a demonstration anyways. Uh, the tools you will need is a leather apron, a three pound or one pound hammer, depending on how you like to hit, a bent steel rod, a stick, three pliers, tongs, and a lighter. The reason why you will need the steel rod is to heat up the water for quenching the stick is to start the fire so i'm going to put on the leather apron okay the forge is lit um i'm not sure if you can see that that popping that you just heard was from the fireworks um looks of it i don't think you can see it but it's at a pretty bright orange right now i'm going to take it out pretty soon and then i'll start hammering see you guys then okay it's about actually at a yellow. I'm gonna turn down the forge to save propane. Um, can use these tongs to get it out of the forge. Like so. Oh, looks like it's actually red. And then grab these ones. Grab onto it. Get my three pound hammer. Looks like it already lost temperature. Okay, that's the end of that heat. I'm gonna put it back in with these so I can get some distance. Like so. Turn the forge back up, pull down my tools, and repeat, basically. I'll, gi I'll give you guys an update soon. Okay, it's about around an orange temperature. Um, then turn down the propane to where it's just barely lit. Looks like it already wants to be a knife. Huh. Alright, back in the forge it goes. Hmm. It might be a mild seal because it's uh, losing heat too quickly. Cool off my tools. And turn off my phone. Okay, okay. Uh, while it's in the forge, it has like a yellowish temperature. So I'm gonna turn down the propane like after every heat. Oh yeah, that's hot, all right. My plan is to make a uh, kukri. Uh, ugly is one way to put it yeah I know my hands too close to it is your handle right is it burning eh, I get hit by forge scale I'm fine but yeah overall my hands are fine Just put it back in turn it up and turn off my phone Around orange temperature. Um, 
I'm new to forging, newish anyways. This is technically the third knife I will be making, but I know most of what I'm talking about. I don't want to work it cold, so I'm going to have to put it right back in, and you know what, I might just turn it back on when um, I'm near done. Now, if you guys were to watch my last video, uh, I did a similar railroad knife, uh, and I wrapped the handle with twine. I'm going to do the same thing with this, so I suggest going back and watching my previous video talking about. Um, I am like maybe halfway through forging already. I'm not sure if you can even see inside of the forge, but it's getting like orange hot. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good forge. I got it off of eBay for Christmas up for $180. Um, really good deal actually for what it is. It comes with the fire brick, the burner, the hose and regulator the ceramic fiber it's all good quality and it's like really nice too and the anvil I have costs like 40 bucks it's a small 20 pound super portable one it's great but it doesn't absorb shock well and that's what happens to this um, I use blue rhino propane it's local easy to get it for me it's whatever um, I got that from the local flea market it is a three pound drilling hammer. This is a $40 one pound Picard style hammer. Um, also off of eBay. Uh, eBay, I got these off of, and I got a couple more and stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna get back to forging and show you guys a little bit later. Okay, it's around a yellowish temperature. As you can see, bright orange, maybe yellow. the basic shape of a knife. I think I might just let the knife take me where it wants. As you see it wants to curve up a little so I might make it into another bowie like I had my last one. And I tipped it over. Alright, I'll put it back in the forge and update you guys later. So the knife started to curve upwards instead of downwards. So I'm gonna chuck my plan out the door and just let the knife take to me where it wants to. Um, I think I'm already almost finished. We need to do some finishing work. Establish the handle, the ricasso, and the bevel. So yeah, I'm not sure how long this video will be, but it should be a decent short video. And yeah. I got, I got some Gatorade out here to drink so I don't get exhausted. Yeah, doing good so far. Um, sorry about my shadow, I'm in a sunny area. Screw you, Florida. Anyways, yeah. Okay, there, now you can see inside. Um, I'm ready to quench. Whoops. Yeah, it's cooled down anyways. It's not an overly hot water, it's like lukewarm. Okay, now. Okay, I don't know what happened, but apparently my phone overheated, I guess, and cut out wherever it did, but 
Yep. Quench went well. Didn't hear any tings or cracks. Standard knife look. Tips not formed. But as you can see on this side, I have a design drawn on. It's going to be a bushcraft knife. Small, but can be used to like cut up your steak or whatever. So, yeah. Okay. In my next episode, it should be my um, part two to my handle series, which is the video I made last time. My first video. If you watch my first video, it's part one of a two part series as of right now. And I'm going to make the second part with this one and finish up one. If you watch the video, you'll understand what I'm saying. But yeah. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.